Hey everyone, I am Amanda from Mandy Lynn Plans. Welcome back to another video. Today I thought it might be fun to go through all of the fountain pen ink that I have. Now I use Tomoe River paper. I buy the big A4 sheets and then cut them down to two and a half by three and a half little rectangles and they fit perfectly in these baseball card sheet protectors. You can tell that they are divided here. And this is the way that I like to store my um, ink little samples here. Um, this is a great way for me to be able to see all of them and kind of compare them. Um, I love using the Tomoe River paper because it really shows the sheen and shimmer and um, just all the great characteristics of this ink. I think it's the best paper that I have found so far to use for it. And that's the paper that's in my Hobonichi. So um, I'm gonna just quickly go through here and just show you what all I have. Now some of these I have full bottles of and I'll try and let you know that as we go along, the rest of them are just ink samples that I have bought from Goulet pens. Um, either actually ordered a specific kind, like this Noodler's Red. Um, I actually specifically asked for this. Others were random surprise me ink samples. One of the things that Goulet does is you can throw a couple or eight or so in your cart. I think at eight you get a discount. And they'll just give you whatever. Um, Park Red and Sir Arthur Igneous Conan Doyle were um, two examples of that. So just going through quickly, um, I have them arranged more or less in rainbow order and it's not perfect, but um, it's just kind of how I was feeling. So here are the first ones. I do have a, um, a 30 mil bottle of Diamine Wild Strawberry. So it's not the full 90 mil or is it 80 mil? I don't remember. I'll put it here. Um, it's just a small 30 mil bottle. And then just samples of these others. I have not actually tried all of them out in my Hobonichi yet. Most of them I have. Um, I do have a full, full bottle of the Apache Sunset. It is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I actually received this one twice. I think I ordered it, like I actually picked it once and then I got a random of the same color in a different order. Or maybe it was the same order, I don't remember. Um, this gold was a winner of one of the ink of the weeks. This um, Kelly Green down here by Diamine, I do have a full bottle of as well. And then here are some more greens and we kind of go into teal as well. So these two both have a red sheen and it's kind of hard with the protective to see that. And then we have Emerald of Chavour that has a beautiful shimmer. Diamine Marine. I think this was my very first full bottle of ink that I purchased and it is still very full even after giving a sample of it away. This one is hard to see. This is the Bow Blue that I used last week. My plan with me. I love this Liberty's Elysium. It's a very pretty just true blue color. This base date blue is very vibrant, but you need to be careful um, with which pen you put it into. We have a special pen designated. It's a Pilot Metropolitan, um, and that's the only pen that we use this ink in. Moving on to some more blues. Now some of these have great shimmer. You can see this copper has great shimmer. And then these are highly sheening inks down here. Hopefully you can see that even though there's a little bit of a glare too. So these two are both shimmer. This one is a silver shimmer and a copper. That is, it shimmers so much. I was so surprised. This is a random ink sample that I just got and when I purchased my new Twisby. This is another shimmering one down here. So you might notice, I haven't said that I have full bottles of very many of these. Um, I do have a full bottle of Cassia. Um, I prefer to just buy a whole bunch of ink samples and just try out a whole bunch of different colors. I do have this Black Swan and Australian Roses in a full bottle. And then this Hope Pink, 
Um, I also have it in one of the smaller Diamine Vitals, the 30 mil, um, similar to um, the Wild Strawberry. Now this rose gilt tint is one that I used a couple weeks ago whenever I was planning my weeks. And it has a very pretty, it's like a rose gold. Um, I really liked the way that that one turned out. And then this is my last page, a couple more pinks, and then I get into my neutrals. I love this Lexington Gray. It has great um, shading and it's also a permanent ink. So that's great. Um, this 41 Noodler's Brown, we do have a full bottle of. It's technically my husband's um, that he uses in his Pilot Metropolitan. Some of these browns, um, I think we got several of these because he was trying to find a brown that he liked. Finally settled on this one. Um, they're definitely not my favorites. This one is kind of cool because it is freeze resistant. Um, the polar, he has, um, Nathan Tardif of Noodler's has this full polar line where they are all freeze resistant. And so that's pretty cool if you are in climates that freeze often. And then just some more on the back. This is probably um, one of my favorites as well. And I do not have a full bottle. That might be my next full bottle purchase. I love, love, love this black blue by Diatramentis. And then just a couple more blacks. So um, let's see, I was gonna count and I forgot to see how many inks I have. So there are nine on a baseball deal here, and I have one, two, three, four. Um, so eight times nine is 72, minus four. So I have 68 different inks. Most of them are just samples. Um, I do have a full, it's like a test tube rack full of samples, and then it is overflowing just a little bit. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, just kind of seeing what kind of inks that I have. Um, it may have been kind of a boring video for you. I'm sorry if you didn't appreciate it, but I just love going through and seeing how different each one of these inks are. Even all of these reds, they're all red, but they are so different. And I really appreciate that about fountain pen inks. One of my favorite things about using fountain pens is the ink. The different characteristics, the properties, some are freeze resistant, some are water resistant, some of them have beautiful sheening and shading um, and glitter. So anyway, I would love to know which ink was your favorite as I flipped through. Which one do you want to know maybe a little bit more about or would you be interested in purchasing, adding to your collection? Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.